here we are again with another video and in this video i will be talking about the death of sandra bland it needs to come back up because some things are still sketchy let's talk i decided to do this story because it has always been a story that i wanted to cover i did make a video about it in the past but i can't seem to find it so here I am doing it over. Now, in order for me to deliver the story, we need to go back. Back in time. Sandra Annette Bland was born on February 7, 1997, Naperville, Illinois, in the suburbia part of Chicago. She is one of five sisters. She graduated from Willow Brook High School at A&M University, where she was a member of Sigma Gamma Rho and received a degree in agriculture. She also worked as a summer counselor. She also volunteered for Senior Citizens Advocacy Group. Early that year, she started posting videos online talking about the mistreatment of black people. However, prior to her death, she was starting a job at Prairie View as a summer program associate. And prior to this, she was posting videos about many subjects, including police mistreatment of black people. She even wrote on her page. In the news that we've seen as of late, you could stand there, surrender to the cops, and still be killed. She was quickly gaining the title of civil rights activist in Chicago and quoting Black Lives Matter. Oh yes, and I'm not done yet. And this here takes the cake because she was speaking up and calling out a lot of wrongdoing. But while doing this, suddenly she got stopped for at least 10 previous related encounters with police in Illinois and in Texas and she had been charged four or five times for driving without insurance then four times for speeding and once for driving while intoxicated and drug possession oh yes oh I'm still not done yet her final conviction was for shoplifting and she also owed approximately seven thousand five hundred and seventy nine dollars in unpaid fines at the time of her death oh, yes but again this is all alleged. So with that, she went to Texas for a job. But remember, it has been noted that the police department had already known who she was. But that being said, this happened. Give me a few minutes, all right? Okay. All right. 25. Let's, let's do this. Yeah, we're going to. Yeah. Don't, don't touch me. Get don't out of the car. Me. Don't touch me. I'm not under arrest. You don't have the right to say You me. are I'm under arrest. I'm under arrest for what? 257 what? County FM 1098. Just for what? 290. Send me another unit. Get out of the car. Get out of the car now. Why am I being apprehended? You're trying to give me a ticket I said for your get failure? out of the car. Why am I being apprehended? You I'm giving you an awful order. Door. You I'm going to drag you out of here. So you're going you're to drag me out of my own car? Get out of the car. And then you I will light me? you up. Get out. Wow. Now. Wow. Get out of the car. Really for a failure to signal. You're doing all of this for Get a over there. Right, yeah. Yeah, let's take this to court. 
Let's do Go it. ahead. For a failure to signal. Yep. For a failure to signal. Get off the phone. On my school. Get off the phone. I'm not on the phone. I have a right Put to record. Put your phone this down. This is my property. This Put your phone property. down. Sir? Put your phone down. Right now. Put your phone down. Come over here. Y'all are interested. Come over here now. You, you feeling good about yourself? Stand right here. You feeling good about yourself? Stand right there. You, the signal. you feel real good Turn about around. yourself, don't you? Turn around. You feel good about yourself, don't you? Turn around now. What, what are you, Put your hands behind your back and turn around. Turn around. Why can you tell me? I'm why giving I'm, you a law order. I why will tell am I you. being arrested? Turn why around. Why won't you tell me that part? I'm giving you a law order. Turn around. Why will you not tell you me what's going on? You are not complying. I'm not complying because you just pulled me out of my car. Turn around. Are you f***ing kidding me? This is some bull. Hands you know behind your back. Because you know this is straight bull. You full of. Full of straight. That's all y'all is. Some scary cops. South Carolina got y'all scared. That's all it is. Scared of a female. If you would have just listened. I was trying to sign a ticket. Whatever. Stop moving. Are you serious? Stop you know, moving. Oh, I can't wait till we go to court. Oh, I can't wait. I cannot wait till we go to court. I can't wait. Oh, I can't wait. You want me to sit down now? No. Or are you going to gonna throw me to the floor? That'll make you feel bad about yourself? Knock it off. No, nah, that'll make you feel bad about yourself? That'll make you feel real good, won't it? <laughs> For a failure to signal, you're doing all of this. In Little Ass Prairie View, Texas. My God, they... Must you were getting a warning until you. now you're going to jail. No, I'm getting a, for what? You can come for read. What? Come read right. I'm getting a warning for what? Stay right here. For what? Well, stay you just right pointed here. me over there. I said stay right Get here. Get your f mouth right. Let me. Oh, I swear on my life, y'all some f a f ass cop for a f signal. You're going to take me to jail. She's in handcuffs. What a f. What a f. Um, what a. You better break my f wrist. Stop moving. I'm standing still. You stay keep right moving here. me, God damn it. Stay right there. Don't touch me. Come right over here. This right here says a warning. You started creating the problem. You asked me what was wrong. Do you have I'm anything to tell on your person that's do, illegal? Do it feel like I got anything on me? This I'm a maxi your, dress. I'm remove your glasses. This a maxi dress. Come on I'm over here. Have on me. You're about to break my wrist. Can you stop? stop? You are about to break my wrist. Stop moving. Stop, stop now. Stop man. it. Stop resisting, man. If you would stop, and I would tell you. you are now a stop. You are such a. No. You are such a. No, you are. You are yanking around. Full traffic signal. You are yanking around. When you pull away from me. You're this resisting you arrest. This makes you feel real good, don't it? A female Keep for a traffic right signal. I got it. I got it. For a traffic I got it. signal. I, I know that makes you feel good, officer. Okay. Take care of yourself. I know it makes you feel real good. You're a real man now. I you just slam me, knock my head in the ground. I got epilepsy, you mother. Good. I hope I'm good. good. You should have thought about that before okay. you start resisting. All right. All right. Yeah, this is real good. Real good for a female. Yeah. A lot of people were saying that it was so, it was Sandra's mouth that got her arrested and later killed, especially when she died. She was going to sue and also insulting the cop's manhood. But I say that is bull because she didn't start getting mouthy until he got rude and starting asking her to do illegal demands and violating her rights, which brings us to this point. You see, and I may get in trouble for saying this, there has been a number of sources who said that Sandra was killed in her cell and then made to look like a suicide. Okay, now, here is a guy who literally broke down how they may have done it. Take a look at this clip and then we'll talk. At the end of this cell assignment video, I want to show you the moment Sandra Bland is being murdered. I got this at 25% speed. You'll see the guard slam the door. Bang! She slammed the door. You see her body weight up against the door? Is that at 27.55 in the video? 56. Bang! She slammed the door. You see her body weight against it? Okay, I want to show you if you go back to the beginning of the video. At about 1.19.
you see the murder suspect come into view. See that? He's wearing gloves. Show you. Those are gloves. Wow. I'll show you where he puts gloves on and show you that this is the same guy in this booking bit this booking room video here. See him putting gloves on? And he's just free to walk out the garage over there. That's the door that leads to the garage. Now in this video, if you watch this mirror here closely, you'll see as this freezes. These officers leave to walk down the hallway, or they go to unlock the door at the end of the hallway. So that man who's the murder suspect can come through that door. Now watch this mirror here. See his legs freeze? It stays frozen for about 26 seconds. Let it sit so you can see where it comes unfrozen. As you can see the video is playing still, so it is frozen. That murder suspect is walking through this room. Oh, see it came unfrozen. Show you where they walk down the hall. Now watch him reach into his back left pocket. He pulls out keys. Well, let me slow this down for you. This man blocks the view. opens the door to block him. Now he's unlocking that door at the end of the hall. Now watch this. He's going to give the green light to the murder suspect over here to walk through the frozen screen on the previous video. See, because if you look back, and you're coming back down the hall, that's around the moment you see his legs in the mirror. Now, all throughout the um, in-processing video, where it's frozen, 26 seconds worth, the murder suspect is walking through the frame. walking through this door as this is frozen for 26 seconds and leaving through the garage. Now why are two grown men leaving a six foot tall female who assaulted an officer with a woman who's under four feet tall if they think she's dangerous? Now after the two men left, the two officers, after they left, Sandra's done with her mug shots, and the officer brings her back to her cell. I'm going to show you where this door glitches out. About 26.14 here. I'll pause it and slow down the video for you. Watch the door glitch out. See it glitching? Okay, 
what's happening right there? I think that's the moment Sandra's new cellmate walked into her cell through this back door. See the handle there? Put it up to 50%. You see her go up and reach for something to bring inside the cell for her or herself. Speed it up a little. This is back to normal speed. And then she realizes that she forgot something. An item for her new cellmate. So she comes out again to grab an item for her new cellmate. Probably being nice and offered to go get it for him. Now you'll see I'll skip ahead to where the door slammed. Slow it back down to 25%. Bang, she slammed the door. I believe that was her final moments of her life right there. And I believe this was Sunday night. Because I believe that the best way to get away with murdering her on Sunday night was to rebook her that day, have her put her dress back on, bring her outside, throw her to the ground, and stage the entire booking a second time. Also keep in mind that our autopsy report show Bland had multiple abrasions on her right side of her back, slight abrasions on her wrist, and 25 to 30 healing parallel cuts on her left forearm, claimed to be predated to her wrist. Uh -huh. Oh, and I'm not done yet. But they also found a remarkably high concentration of THC, which is weird for someone who had been in jail for three days, which led to speculation that Blend may have had access to marijuana while in jail. The Waller County Assistant District Attorney Warren Deprin said that it was more likely that Bland had ingested a very large amount of marijuana prior to her arrest. But he also added that it's unlikely. My theory is, is that upon her getting her mugshot, which has been debated on whether that was her or not in the last clip you saw. Now, as the young man had just said, you see a cop dressed in inmate clothes that is able to walk around freely and while putting on gloves, more or less, I believe he then waited in the back by the door until those cops opened the door for him, hence the grass substance that was found in the wound on Sandra's back, which you see in the clip where the camera was frozen out. I believe he waited for her to return to her cell, probably was hiding behind the door. And as soon as she came back in, he covered her mouth and then strangled her from behind and then took that same garbage bag if he used that in the first place. He may have injected her with all of those substances or anything to keep her from screaming because it took hours after her alleged time death for them to even call the cops or paramedics. And that pathologist could, been, could have been paid, which is not uncommon. He then said the same in this clip out later. Now, will this crime be justice? No, probably not because the family had settled a lawsuit in 2016 for $1.9 million. But it has been noted that it may have been more. 
Also, the deaths of many inmates seems to always get overlooked. Listen, my loves, please stay safe and just do what the cops say. Don't fuel anything. Just be polite and cordial. You will have a higher chance of surviving that way, hopefully. Oh, and bystanders, if you see this happening to someone, yes, please record it, but also call the cop or cops out. Don't be quiet behind your phone. A caught cop by plenty of onlookers who are being vocal can scare a cop and save a life. That's it, and be safe, please be safe. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to all of my platforms. All of my links are below. Love you all.